Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm going to talk to you about the thing that will kill your art faster than anything in the world. And what is that thing? Comparisons. We're going to talk about comparisons today. What to do about it, why they start in the first place, and how the fuck to get rid of them and get your shit back on track to where you are top dog and you love what the fuck you're doing. All right, this is coming up because I put a community post out saying, what is your biggest challenge as a writer? Caitlin says, comparing myself to other writers and stories of my genre. I know that I don't write like mainstream, but that doesn't stop me editing and rewriting in the mainstream form. I get frustrated that I don't get out of my own way. Now, we are going to do like three or four different things right here for you. The most important thing in this whole comment, Caitlin, the most important thing here is that you say you're frustrated because you don't get out of your own way. So you already know that you are doing this, that you're the one who is like going and you know you shouldn't be. So knowing that is so big because a lot of people, they just compare themselves to other things and don't see anything wrong with that. They're like, well, my stuff isn't as good as so-and-so. So I can't possibly be a great writer. And that's just how that goes, okay? But you know that it's a problem. So that's awesome. Next thing is, is when you compare yourself to other people and other stories in your genre, the problem is, is that you are constantly just looking at your stuff saying this isn't as good as that now why does this even happen why is this a fucking thing why do we do this to ourselves i'll tell you why because you are a fan of certain writers you are a fan of how these stories made you feel you can probably remember the moment you had a oh shit moment when you were reading one of these books by one of these writers you like that feeling that fucking excitement that might have been the thing that inspired you to even want to create your own story in the first place now those expectations right there that is really hard for you to recreate because you probably aren't your biggest fan even though you need to be your biggest fan you are a huge fan of this stuff here and you're holding yourself to try to recreate those emotions, that feeling from your own work. And it'll probably be really hard for that to happen, especially since most artists have very low self-esteem. And if most artists have very low self-esteem, it's going to be almost impossible for you to eventually say, I am my own biggest fan. Okay. Like nobody loves my stuff the way I love my stuff. So because of that, you're like you're Sisyphus you're pushing the boulder up the hill that you're never going to get to the top of and the boulder's always going to fall back down the mountain you've created a scenario that cannot be defeated instead of like looking at your stuff as oh man like it's never going to be that good uh, it could be that good to other people it's just it, it's not going to feel that awe-inspiring to you because you already know what's happening through the whole story you already know the beginning the middle and the end someone reading it for the first time they're gonna have that moment where they're like oh shit but you cannot have that moment because you're the creator of that do you see what i'm saying so instead of trying to write your book to be as good as the book that made you feel like that all you have to focus on is making sure that that same level of enjoyment, that same level of excitement, that same level of everything happens for somebody else. And the only way you can ensure that that takes place is if you finish your book and get your book out there. So here's what I'll do. Since you know that when you're doing the edits and the rewrites that this is a fucking thing what i want you to do is have two files of your book have a file of your book that you're setting aside for huge extensive edits and re and rewrites okay so just know so every time you do your writing save two different files of this one goes into the book that you know you're going to do extensive edits on and the other file 
is the file for you to just finish your fucking book. Okay? Once you have that book finished, take that book in that form. Don't do a fucking thing to it in that form and give it to some test readers. People you trust who are going to be like honest with you and just say, take a look at this. Let me know if there's anything you think I need tweaking. You just need to finish the book, okay? And you have this other thing off to the side, okay? That you could do massive edits on if you want. But this file here, this is, the, this is just the book that's going out to people because you finished your book, okay? And see what people say. If people are like, oh my fucking God, like that part where this happened, I was fucking floored. You won. You did it. You did the thing that you always wanted to have done. Okay? You are as good as the people that you look up to. Stephen King is just a fucking dude who was ripping off fucking Lovecraft. And Lovecraft was just ripping off fucking, what's his name, Mockin or fucking Blackwood and Poe, for fuck's sake, and Dunsany. Everybody's just ripping off other fucking people. Everything's fucking been done, but no one can tell a story the way you see it. The only thing you have that is unique to everyone else is all your life experiences and how you view the world. That is the thing you have that nobody else has. So use that. But as soon as someone feels that feeling reading your book, you will have done the thing that you want to do. Okay? All you have to do is finish your book. And then just give it to someone to read. That's it. Okay? And you can have that other thing off to the side. And you can go back and edit the fuck out of that for the rest of your fucking life if you want to. Okay? But you don't have to do that. But it's there in case you feel like you need to do that. Okay? So. Hope that was helpful. Extra, extra out now. Um, when Your Mom Saw Me Prize of Poetry, the paperback, will be out on June 15th. Right now, Bloodshed Review with Shaylin Marks, Mindy Simmonson, and Jeff Taylor is up in my Etsy shop. Links for all this stuff will be down below. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. If you found this useful or inspiring at all, it would help me out a lot. If you want more writing tip videos, a playlist of some sort will show up in this area somewhere. So just keep buying my books, everybody. Type hard, and I'll talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.